The Dunger sisters are finally able to connect with fans authentically, but they're squandering it. The Duggars of 19 Kids and Counting once seemed like a breath of fresh air in a reality show universe that included Kardashians throwing their wealth around and Survivor contestants eating bugs. But their own reality proved to be just as shocking. The family belonged to a controversial church that dictated their clothing, entertainment, education, and love lives. Parents Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar allegedly used corporal punishment to instill obedience in their children. Jim Bob has been called controlling and verbally abusive by one of his own daughters. Then, of course, there was oldest son Josh, whose conviction on charges of horrific crimes put an end to the Duggars' TV careers. It also apparently polarized the family over the question of his guilt. The 11 married Duggar siblings must feel liberated now that they're out of both their childhood home and the spotlight. The brothers have opted to keep their lives private. Joseph Duggar hasn't updated his personal blog in almost three years. The married sisters, Jill Duggar Dillard, Ginger Duggar Volo, Jessa Duggar Seawald, and Joy Anna Duggar Forsyth, are more open about sharing their everyday struggles and triumphs with their millions of fans through social media. Now that they're not bound to TV contracts, the sisters are free to be their true selves and speak their minds. Sometimes they get it right. Other times, unfortunately, their attempts to connect fall flat. If the Duggar sisters really want to be relatable to their audiences, they need to clarify their post-TV identities, solidify their personal messaging, and be more selective about what they share. Jill Duggar Dillard is by far the free spirit of the Duggar sisters. She and her husband, Derek Dillard, cut ties with the reality series in 2017 so they can pursue their own goals. Even more bravely, she distanced herself from her father, Jim Bob, due to a dispute over his allegedly withholding their TV earnings. She was also one of the few siblings who spoke out against her brother Josh after his arrest and conviction. God has carried out his vengeance today for Josh's unspeakable criminal activity, she wrote on her family blog. Having fought back against being controlled, Jill has repeatedly flouted her parents' teachings on clothing, music, and birth control. She even sports a nose ring, an accessory she would never have been allowed to wear at home. The earthy Duggar is living authentically at last. What's not so authentic, however, are Jill's paid sponsorships on Instagram. She may love her son's swim school and her favorite boho home decorating company, but advertising always has an air of funniness that goes against her personal style. Sometimes they're off-brand, too. Jill is proud of her cooking skills, which makes it odd to see her showing off a pan of homemade oatmeal bars one day and promoting a meal subscription box the next. Instead of positioning herself as a spokesperson, Jill should take a cue from Sister Ginger and write her own memoir. It's time for the world to hear her side of the story. Ginger Duggar Vulo has distinguished herself as the sister who publicly renounced her parents' church. Her best-selling memoir, Becoming Free Indeed, blasts the Institute in Basic Life Principles, IBLP, as a cult-like organization. The church's rigid rules, she explains, were not only unbiblical, they also made her depressed and fearful of being punished by God if she dared to show a knee or listen to Michael Bublé. It wasn't until Ginger left home to get married that she realized that she could wear shorts and still be a good Christian. Like Jill, she has been openly critical of Brother Josh, calling him hypocritical and agreeing that his jail sentence was just as well served. But while tons of fans are in Ginger's corner, others are still concerned about her future. Wed to Jeremy Vulo, a soccer player turned pastor, she now belongs to his church, a non-denominational congregation that's almost as conservative as the one she left. Divorce is frowned upon, as are Catholicism, psychological counseling, and LGBTQ rights. Women are forbidden to hold leadership positions in the church, and they're discouraged from working outside the home, according to the church website. As in the IBLP, households are led by men, and fathers have the main say in raising children. Can Ginger truly connect with her fans as the free Duggar child if her personal choices are still limited? Many will be watching to see how her beliefs continue to evolve.